Hi everyone and welcome to Follow Your Heart here on the Natural Parent Magazine. I'm Ann Cullen. Today I'm talking about how connection is so important when it comes to raising our children. And I actually see three parts to the connection. I see it as a connection to your child, of course, but also the connection you have to yourself and the connection you have to your greater tribe, which is hopefully what we are here at The Natural Parent magazine for you. Now, when it comes to the connection for our with our child, we need to first of all understand their normal development, their needs. We really need to look at them, you know, from a normal kind of natural perspective. What is the thing I should be expecting my child to be able to do or the thing I should not be expecting them to do. When we can see them through this um, lens of acceptance really, just seeing them as developing normally and naturally, um, we really can connect to them on another level. Next, we really need to be able to see them as their authentic selves. And a lot of times this comes back to us being able to accept ourselves. So that really can lead into the next connection, which is you connecting back to yourself. You feeling good, you feeling like you have a voice, like you have needs of your own that can be met. Um, you know, I hear so many mums saying they can't handle what their children are doing and they're trying to um, figure out how to change what their child is doing. This could be with sleep or, you know, their big emotional outbursts, whatever it is. Um, we kind of go from our needs and decide we're going to change our child when really what we need to focus on is ourselves and looking after ourselves. And then once we can do that, we actually can manage our children's behaviors so much better. And when we combine that with that knowledge we have of what's normal and, and natural and expected of them, you know, we put those two things together and then you really, really can connect to your child. So the other part of this, of course, is we can't do it alone. Most of you will live, sorry, most of you will live in a house on your own as, you know, possibly a couple or on your own with your children. Um, many of you will not have grandparents and aunts and uncles and extended family li living with you. Most of you will not be living with another family. Um, and it's not really a natural way for, for us to parent. We really need more people around us. So we have to create that tribe. So of course that could be, um, you know, here at the Natural Parent Magazine and myself and other, you know, parenting so-called experts. I don't really like to call myself that, but, um, but it's also finding, um, yeah, just professionals to support you, family members that truly support you, friends who truly support you, the group that isn't um, pushing you to sleep train, for example. That was our topic last week. Uh, when you don't want to. So your tribe is truly the people who accept your child and your relationship for what it is and support you in connecting to them and connecting to yourself. Not the ones that make you feel worse or drain you or give you misinformation and push you to make decisions that don't sit well with you. That's not your tribe. Your tribe doesn't have to be big. It just has to be one that truly, truly supports you. So those are the three connections I see and you know I've got some great videos if you go to look um, about co-regulation and things like that that will really support what I'm saying here in addition to this video. So go back and have a look at some of those. They're all on the YouTube channel. Um, you can go back and look at what we've said previously about this but Honestly, there's nothing that matters more, and you'll hear me say this so many times, nothing matters more than the relationship you and your child have. Um, so if you're using that as your guide, and I'm going to talk probably next week a little bit more about values and discovering your values, because it, once you have your values set 
and like me know that connection's the most important thing and relationships the most important thing, it makes the rest of your parenting decisions easier. So tune in next week and I'll probably be elaborating on that. Thanks for tuning in. Bye for now.